All I do do is All the time cause I See me on the mind And I'm running out of mind Hey y'all, it's Abby Soar. So today I'm going to be doing my January hits and misses. This is pretty much my first YouTube video that I've done in a very long time. And as you will see, it's a lot better quality. And I'm super excited to be doing this. I have been a part of the YouTube makeup beauty community for quite a few years. I've, I, videos in the past but it wasn't exactly it wasn't high quality and it wasn't it wasn't good but now I have an awesome camera and some lighting and I'm like come on I've got to do it I love makeup it's my passion I just I love everything about makeup I love doing makeup looking at makeup buying makeup seeing other girls makeup so I thought why not start my own YouTube channel I love youtubers like Jeffrey Jacqueline Manny Nikki Philippi Casey Holmes of course I love her and it's just something I love so much and I hold so dear to my heart and I'm so excited to have this opportunity to make videos and do stuff that's good quality that I think people are going to enjoy. So I hope that you like my video. I can't wait to get into what all I have liked and what I haven't this month. So if you're wondering what my hits and misses were for February, just keep watching. Alright, so I'm going to start this off with a tool. Um, my first favorite is my Black Beauty Blender. I just got this black one. I've always been a Beauty Blender girl. As soon as I got my Beauty Blender, it, it was over with. It's just, it's so convenient. It gives me just flawless coverage. It soak up, soaks up the extra product so I don't get too cakey. But um, I just tried out this, it's called the Pro, but it's the black one and I really like it and I've really been enjoying it. And with this being my first video, I guess I wanted to go ahead and include my favorite way to apply my foundation. All right, so my next favorite is a little bit newer to me, but it is the Hourglass Vanishing Foundation Stick. I absolutely love this. I love this foundation. It, it, it's literally a stick. You just, you roll it up like a lipstick. You paint it on and you just you use your beauty blender or your blush, your blush, your brush, and you blend it in. Pretty self-explanatory. This is super high coverage. If you're looking for just an everyday at the office, you know, no makeup, makeup look, um, I don't think this is gonna be for you. This is very high coverage and I love it. My favorite way to wear this foundation is definitely with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. And I wear this in 1C1 Cool Bone and in the Hourglass Foundation, I wear vanilla. But my favorite way to wear it is definitely with the Double Wear because this is very pigmented. You're getting a lot of pigmentation, you're getting a lot of coverage. This is pretty high coverage also, and but it's extremely, extremely long lasting. And that's why I love to pair these together because this is not the most long lasting on me because I'm pretty dang oily. But when I put these two together, it is a great foundation combo. It looks flawless. It is definitely full coverage and it lasts. My next favorite for February is going to be the Maybelline Master Fix by Face Studio Setting Powder. Oh, excuse me, Setting Perfecting Loose Powder. Lord, could they come up with a longer name? This is a great loose powder. If you're not wanting to break the bank on loose powder, I definitely suggest this. It blurs and it fills in my pores really well. Um, yeah, I used it today to set underneath my eyes. I really enjoy it. I love just the effect of, it just makes everything look extremely flawless and it locks it in and that is why I love this loose setting powder. Yeah, loose setting powder. All right, so my next favorite is the Burgundy Palette by Kylie Cosmetics. 
Yes, I jumped on the bandwagon and I got this palette and I love it. I love warm eyes. So of course I'm gonna love this palette, but it has nine shadows and I love the formulation of these shadows. I think they're extremely pigmented. They do like have a lot of, you know, kickback. kickback. They have a lot of fallout, I guess you could say. The metallic shadows, I love. I haven't just used this one down here a whole lot because it's just not really my speed, but I love these. They look great on my eyes. They look great with my eye color and they're pigmented and they blend great. All right, so I also have on this next product and this is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lip in Charmed and this is the Manny MUA, one of his colors. This color is everything. It's obviously what I have on today. I get so many compliments on this lipstick and I swear every time I will eat something and everybody's like, how is your lipstick still on? And I'm like, it's my Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. Look my lipstick. Oh, that was gross. Anyway, <laughs> so I love this color. It is a nice, I mean, it's pretty neutral for me. It's not stepping out or anything crazy, you know, but I love this color. It's great for every day, and I think it goes good with a dramatic eye also, but I love just the fact that I get tons of compliments when I wear this. Yeah. All right, so that was it for my favorites. And now to my one unfavorite. It is the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't. It, um, it, I, I guess it has too much silicone in it, or does it have silicone in it? Where's the ingredients? The ingredients aren't on this part. Anyways, um, it's very silky. But, oh man, it just, my makeup slides off of this. It literally, it doesn't stick, it doesn't want to stay on my face, it slides off. No matter how much pouncing I do with my freaking beauty blender, it just slides off. I don't like it, I wouldn't recommend. Alright guys, um, that's pretty much it for my February hits and misses. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun doing this. I have a lot of ideas for this channel and I would really appreciate if you have any um, suggestions, anything you'd like to see from me, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed it, I'd love if you subscribe because then um, you'll see more of me and you know you want to. All right, thanks for watching, bye. I think I might have stepped out my lane. I'm the only one I can blame. Mistakes I made, now I'm pain. Pain the price, that's a shame. But I gotta say, now I can't complain. I can't complain, I can't complain. But but I never felt like this before. Fresh new name, not Crystal Flow. Wanna hate me?